everybody. This is Caroline Alison, a graduate student of Gawk Trade Mentoring Program. It is Wednesday, April 6th of 2011, and we're looking at the Q's daily chart. And check this out. Remember this pink area of resistance, which we talked about here quite some time ago, as well as these two moving averages down below. The one in red, which is sitting at the 57.26 mark, which we talked about here yesterday, as well as our favorite one, which is the eight moving average here in green, and it's slightly above the red. So what we see here today happening is that we hit it here again. This is the third time we're hitting that red moving average. And the first time was back on April 4th, and then yesterday, and then today again. So we are hitting it, and we are bouncing off of it, closing the day higher but above both moving averages, which means that we're not ready to go lower yet. We would need some strength and some power to break through that wall. And if we broke through it to the downside, we will first of all need to close below the low of today, actually first of all below the red moving average, which is at the 57.26, as well as below the low of today, which is at the 56.93 mark. So watch this area here really closely. And once we do that, once we break through it and close below it, we could head all the way down to that next major area of support down below, right here, the 56, 60, 56, 64 mark. And then if we broke through it and closed below it again, we would have some more room to go down, all the way down to that next area of support right here at the, let's see, at the 55, 85 mark. And then if we broke through that one, we would be in trouble. We could head all the way down to that next one, which is here in black. And it's sitting right at about 54, 5465. So pay close attention to all of them. Once we broke through both moving averages, we would enter back into a bearish territory and we could head all the way back down to that black area of support. So watch it closely and check this out. Look at the pink area of resistance right here. We are hitting it here so many times. It's another really hard wall to break. So we will need some more power, some more gas to break through it and continue to the upside if we were about to break through the low, uh, through the high of Friday, which was at the 57.90 mark. So I wanted you to pay uh, to put a little trend line right here. So you can better see it and you can pay close attention to it once you see that we're getting closer and closer to it. But we're still sitting right here at the top of the rally forming a little high base formation. So pay close attention to that and pay close attention to the 57.90 mark. If we're about to go higher, we would first of all have to break through the high of 57. 90 and then close above it as I mentioned to you here yesterday and then we could head all the way up to that next area of resistance right here the 5830 mark and then if we broke through that one and closed above it we would have some more room to go back up to the high of to the high of February 16th which was at the 5904 so put little trend lines right here so you can better see it and check this out look what's happening with the MACD we are crossing the zero line on the MACD, but not quite yet. We're not quite on the other side of the zero line yet. We're not in a bullish territory 100%. Even though we're getting positive ticks above the zero line, we're still not there yet. And we're getting smaller and smaller positive ticks, which means that we are in, in indecision mode. So we don't really know which way we're going to go. So watch this carefully and check this out. We're having another trading day on light volume here. Volume is not impressive. So we are way below the average as I talked to you about it yesterday. We're way below it and um, we're not really confirming any moves at this moment. So pay close attention to it as well. So hope it helps you. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.